Hey everyone, this is Blackbinder, and welcome back to the Let's Play of Tales of Majai All on Insane with the Possessor. Alright, last time we killed the uh, Sandworm Queen, but there's still uh, a few spots over here that we need to check. So, um, some of my best equipment's been from the Sandworm Lair or the Maze. Well, pretty much all of it. Like, when I get a Tier 5 or something early on, it's almost always from the Maze or from uh, the Sandworm Lair. Uh, I think the the rumor was that these used to be higher level areas, so their loot tables uh, maybe didn't get changed, or at least the the uh, chests didn't. So, all right, what do we got here? Gloom, he is cursed. Let's go ahead and take him. Why not? Oh yeah, that's right. We can't take him. And there is why. Look at that. We got a two-handed ran random artifact. But knowing our luck, it'll probably be <laughs> it'll probably be uh anti-magic. All right, let's go ahead and teleport back. We are pinned and stunned. Come on, let me out. All right, his recovery's off. Now, what did he drop us? Uh, nothing. All right, let's look at that real quick. Okay, it's not anti-magic. It's got slightly lower damage, but that's okay, I guess. Depends on what we get. Uh, it's got 20% chance to stun, blind, pin, confuse, or silence the target for three turns. That's good. Uh, on weapon crit, it can cripple the target, lowering their speeds. And 16% physical crit chance. So yes, we will be taking that. Yes, 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 yes. I can deal with the lower damage. What is this? Uh, 5 to 5.5. This is 4 to 4, so... Actually, you know what? We're going to change it because this one has resistances and life regeneration. And it can. Uh, it's got an on-hit proc to lower armor by 17%. Not a ton, but... Better than better than what that had. Okay. Do we want to risk going forward? Yes, let's do that. We'll check up here. I think this is the last spot. All right, what are you? Uh, I don't know. I guess we'll find out. I don't know why I used my healing one. I meant to use shield. Come on, let me out of the pin. All right, that's where we're gonna end it for the sandworm lair. Let's get out of here. Obsidian foe, nope. Arcane disrupting, but it does have 18 physical damage on it. That would have been nice, but no. All righty. So where else do we need to go? I guess we could storm the city, or whatever, storming the city, do that quest. Uh, I don't want to go back to Daikara yet, because that's still, that entrance area is a death trap. Youch. Hey, look at that, we saved a couple of them, because nobody spawned up here. too soon. One of the halflings tried to help me and died. All right, we got one more probably. Nope, we got another one somewhere. Probably over here. Be at ease. Storming the city updated. Let's go see what, uh, actually hold on. Let's, let's look at our infusions and runes real quick. 257 at 14, that's decent, and 391 at 4, okay. I was gonna go I was gonna go check for better ones because the shops would have uh, repopulated by now or restocked, but I'm not gonna run all around when we've already got pretty decent uh, inscriptions. Let's check out these stores though at least. 247, actually, 
you know what? We should. We really should have a uh, shattering afflictions rune, but they didn't even have one, so oh well. Yeah, we've got a really good movement infusion. Let me look at my rings real quick. We've got a life one already and one with stun and uh, stun resistance, so I doubt we'll be able to use any of these. Yeah. All right, now the question is, do we try to take out Urkus? I think we should. I think with the right body, and if we get the drop on him, we should be okay. And then if he gets a drop on us, we'll just run and restart the fight. Oh, we got somebody right here. A closet with, he's some kind of sun paladin, so we should be okay. As long as he doesn't assault us. What is our lightning resistance? I know it really doesn't matter for Urkus, I'm just curious. Almost nothing. <laughs> okay, it is nothing actually. All right, let's go ahead and AOE to get rid of the two summons and then work on the summoner. Do we wanna take him? Yeah, let's take him, might as well. What is out? Are you shitting me? I auto explored into a death. 311 and 111. That's fucking bullshit. Well, oh well. Uses one, uses two. We got uh, probably Rungoff is what we'll need to use. He's the one with the most hit points. All right, let's go. Looks like he's got combination kick, but I think to use those, I, I have to take off my armor. Ah, but that would be really useful. All right, I will take off my armor for this. I think I have to take it off. Double strike, because we'll need to build up points to use it. Cripple, that's good. Rush, yes. Uppercut for a stun, yes. Or wait, no. I think, I think we'll be okay, because we... You know what? I'm not sure. I guess we'll have to find out. I don't know if it'll use my hands or not. And we'll go hack and back. Hack and back uh, does damage, but then you jump back. Oh, god dang it. Don't want you. I do want you. Yes, okay, we're good. Let's take off our armor. Go ahead and get back into Rungoff. Can we use it? No, because we're holding a weapon or shield. Son of a gun. All right, so what do we do? We'll just have to do it without, without, uh, we'll just be using his body as a buffer, not really. Thank you, I will rest for a while. What do we want to use beforehand? Maybe a psionic minion? No, because minions make it harder to kill Urkus. We can cripple him. I really wish this stunned, but it does not. Is this stunned? No, and no, okay. So we don't, looks like we don't have a stun, do we? Maybe we do, but I, I, I mean, I don't have it now. All right, let's do this. Shield, thank you, I'm ready to go back. Let's run around the corner, cause we need to, we need to get him into one of these uh, little, like one of these, one of these X's. Rest. 
Come on, where are you, Arcus? There he is. Okay. Wild speed to get around the corner. We'll just wait. Come on, where are you? You have to come around the corner to me. Come on. <laughs> Has anyone ever died twice and met another version of themselves in the Eidolon plane? Well, let me see. Show chat user. What does he have? Four add-ons. Mm. Doesn't look like he's got anything other than better sandworm layer. But that I don't think would wor matter. Where'd you go, Orcus? All right. Shield, run up to him. Cripple first, I think, is what we want to use. 554, not bad. All right. I do want to possess him, if anything, just for his uh, hit points. Let's heal to get some more Psy back. All right, awesome. And then we just got to wait out Tempest, which is a pain, but... get out of our body yeah level 25 okay that Urkus body is gone just the most damaged one let's get rid of wrath root because he's too damaged you know what for the rest of this level let's just let's wear a body we need to start getting into that because if we hadn't been in a body we might have survived that first shot moonlight ray searing light Circle of Shifting Shadows. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? It increases my defenses and saves, and it's instant, so might as well use it. Glyphs, no. Hymn of Perseverance, yes. I think that's it. Well, go ahead and do Glyphs, because it's to sustain. How many freaking things can I get? We'll go Circle of Sanctity, too, because that gives us a silence ability. Probably would have been useful for Urkus. Hymn of Shadows? No, I want Hymn of Detection? No, where's my Hymn? Well, I have two Hymn of Perseverances. <laughs> we'll turn on Glyphs. All right, so there we go. Let's shield, then start blowing him up. Heal to get our side back. Do I want to take, yeah, he's a, a cursed, so I want to take him. And we need to use our prodigy. All right, let's get out of this body and destroy it. Superpower is probably what we're going to want to use second. I think I Can Carry the World is going to be first. I really only care about the willpower modifier. Mind power bonus is fine, but it might not actually be worth going that route. We'll see. So let's go ahead and I Can Carry the World, though. That's, a, that's an obvious one. I might do Flex instead of Superpower. Got two points. What do we use them in? We can get 10% more values from the body or 12% more from us, but our values suck. So the, the bodies you take, their values are very specific though. So, well, until later on, then they just get everything, but like their resistances will be specific early on. So you could be taking 82% of nothing for most resistances. Let's go, no. In addition, each time you take a melee. Okay, no. This this would be useful, but two points for 15% or 5% evasion isn't worth it right now. So let's just, let's finish maxing out improved form and self-persistence. Self-persistence.
Apparently that happens. That happens occasionally in 1.7, that dual hit, or maybe just seeing yourself in... Um, <laughs> something necromancers do can fuck up with dying in a very non-necromancer way. It causes you to die multiplier times at once, or multiple times, I'm guessing, is what he meant. All right, let's get in the body. Wait. What is this? Oh, I'm fascinated. <laughs> uh, this guy is a... Oh, God, what is he? A wisp, I think. Yeah, I think he's a wisp. Uh, it's an extra class that I downloaded, and apparently they didn't stop themselves from... They didn't stop it from enemies being able to use it. Let's get into our warg. Let's warg into the warg. It's not super uh, damaging, but the wisp, but it does have, it's uh, deceptively tanky. It's basically like, uh, you know how temporal wardens are kind of like a magic archer? Well, the wisp is a mind power archer. All right, what are you? Shoot. Let's wait for him to come around the corner. Or should I run? Yeah, let's just try to fight him. Let's cannibalize. Can I cannibalize something? No, the only thing I can cannibalize is Urkus. Shoot. All right, we need to get out of here. Get out of the body. All right, shield, come around the corner. I don't want to fight him because he's doing a ton of damage to me, but he's left us no choice. I'm getting into Urkus to give us the best chance, and also he's got uh, teleport, which would be awesome. This guy is a Gwelgaroth or whatever, so the lightning spells that I have aren't going to work. So let's grab Freeze. Congeal time, ice shards, why not? Mana thrust, no, too low damage. Nova, no, it's lightning, phase door, teleport, and pulverizing auger. So let's first thing, they are immune to stuns, so it won't freeze them, but it should have done a decent amount of damage to him. Oh well, problem is I can't hit him because he's also a freaking Let's lower his global speed then. He's a uh, shadow blade. All right, we're not gonna kill this guy. We need to get out of here. Teleport away. Get out of the body so we can heal. Ah, God dang it, come on, man. Leave me alone. Just don't teleport right in front of me like that. All right, is this something that we actually have? Why can't I use this? Okay, I can. Get into another body. Let's get into this one, but I wanted to get a healed one, but I think I have to destroy the old one first. There is no freaking way that his teleport is gonna put him right in front of me, so. I should be okay. Okay, we made it out. Ooh, nice healing infusion, 350 at cooldown 12. That is awesome. Kinetic focus is physical damage for a mind star. That is actually useful. We will wear that. Freeze flash, the steel torque, no. Nope, good confusion immunity, but ours already has 30% confusion immunity and 30% blindness immunity. 
All right, let's get out of the body and then destroy it. Just the most damage. I really wish I could just immediately get into the lesser, like the one that's not very destroyed, if that makes any sense. Like why would I want to get into the one that's almost dead? All right, let's get out of here, go talk, and get our Rune of Dissipation. Actually, we could kill that thing if we had the Rune of Dissipation, but I'm not going to bother coming back unless I need some experience. Let's check out our damage, too. Yes, plus 55 from that Prodigy. That is awesome. Oh, we're doing one long video today time issues. I won't have time to upload both of them later, so. Alright, Urkus has been slain. Such a pain uploading things, because I gotta try to make sure that they're not in 360p, but it's like a variable time frame, like when it actually like works. Alright, 389 at 14 versus 389 at 12. I would really like to keep both of these, but I can't. Rune of Dissipation, I need to use, but again, <sighs> I'm going to have to get to level 34 before I can use any of those. So, yeah, I'm, I, I'm screwed. I, I can't, I don't have enough room to use the Rune of Dissipation. I need the shield. I need the heal. I, the only one that I could really get rid of is the shield, but I know that's going to save me. Here's what I'll do. If I run into something that absolutely requires the rune of dissipation, I'll just use I'll use it. Um, I'll use it then. Cause if I get rid of the shield, that basically means any fight I get in, I have to get into a body. And I'd really rather not do that. You know what? Let's uh Let's just play around in Dreadfell for now. I know we can go into the Mark of the Spellblaze, but literally everything there can one-shot me. Well, pretty much everything. The Lightning things, Soul Rot, they're all Corruptors, pretty much, so. <laughs> well, I guess we'll not be coming here either. God dang it. We have Soul Leech. Let's just wait a turn, then leave. All right, so I guess we could go down, but let's uh, let's rest here for a second. Make sure he's not gonna come around the corner. All right, you are more possible. I say as he smacks me around, I can't hit him. Oh my god. Psychic so Crush, he evades. Okay, he's got evasion, so that's, I guess, a little bit more. A little bit more excusable for me missing. All right. Evasion is gone, so let's get into Urkus's body. Shield, so we don't waste it. And then let's uh, start trying to blow him up. You know what, we're just going to wait for him to get unfrozen so I don't waste my damaging spells. This travels slowly, so he should get out before he's done being frozen. <laughs> there we go, we'll just freeze him over and over again. <laughs> what is his... Uh... He has no stun resistance, that's why. What are you? Let's go, let's turn you onto four since you're gonna be what I'm using most of the time. What do we do here? I want to go in here because it's a lot of it's a lot of uh, experience, but 
Also, a lot of mobs. Mental shielding. Psychic crush. We're going to heal so we get some of our Psy back. Let's throw some ice at him. What else do we want to do? Cannibal ice looks like a breath, so I always want to use it. That is awesome. Hits for 100 cold damage, but it's an AoE, so... I think Freeze... Doesn't that become an AoE eventually? Alright, let's go around the corner. Uh, not because I need to, but we're low on Psy. And I don't want to waste this body's health, if I can help it. Actually, you know what? We don't even need it anymore. We took out the majority of the issues. The only issue going in there is that you can, there might be a bunch of Magises and they'll all hit you at once and I've, I've, finally, I've learned my lesson, I'm not gonna. It rarely happens, okay? It rarely freaking happens that way. But for me, I, every time I say that, it happens, so. Okay, what do we got here? He is a unique, so we definitely want to take his body. He's got wild speed too, doesn't he? No, he's got lightning speed because he's a lightning ant. All right, let's get into a body. Who do we want to use though? I think I'm gonna just stick with Urkus and try to freeze him to death. Nope, why didn't it work? 73%, okay, that's okay though. Phase door is talent level five, so I can target it. You always want to make sure with these because you don't want to randomly teleport. Oh, that's right. He is a an insect, so I can't take him. Oh gosh, darn it! That uh... where was it? Did I get him? That necromancer is right in my way. To the southeast. All right, here we go, we got you. Let's uh, do that. I probably should have taken her. I didn't know how close she was to dead though. Sorry, Urkus, you didn't last this very long, but long enough. Who was that? Spikes of decrepitude and empathetic, empathic hex. All right, good. He came down here. That's that's good for us. What we'll do is we'll lead him up here. And as soon as I see him, I'll speed. I'll come down around here and then speed away. And then we can leave the zone, come back, and then he'll be stuck up here, basically. Oops. All right, we need to wait a few turns. That way we know he's at least up there. Why is there an armored skeleton down here? What are you? All right, we should be able to kill him quickly enough. The only issue now is that, that he might come down this way. What the hell, where are all these guys coming from? I went ahead and possessed that ghoul, just to be sure that we have um, cannon fodder, should we need it. <laughs> Got nothing. Okay, we'll rest out here and then go back in. And we are so close to being, like, getting past that critical mass, but we're just not there yet. Let's go ahead and start using some of these bodies. This one's only got one use, so we got it a while ago. 
Evasion and shield. Every fight. Evasion, shield. Guy's a nice little body. I think he's a, a brawler, or no, he's obviously a brawler. But uh, he is definitely punching above his perceived weight. Go ahead and take him. He's a giant, so we already have his body. A thousand and thirteen. Nice. keep forgetting to shield it's not that I need to shield early but the more often I do the longer the bodies will last I don't can you side with the orcs Makes it seem like it, but I've tried killing the elf before and nothing happened. I think he's talking about when you go through the cave, uh, where that elf is, and she's like, kill the kill the orc. Well, I've, I've tried before. It doesn't actually do anything. Actually, I kill her all the time just for experience. But All right, we've got a corruptor here and no shield so we're not gonna fight him until we can get a body oh god dang it there's a fucking <laughs> there's a door there I didn't even see it alright now we've got a shield of course uh, these have spines on them you see these little spines? That means that they can do their acid breath. Uh, the ones that don't have the spines, they can't. And acid breath does hit hard, and it can disarm you. But it just it's it's a breath. They hit hard, and on enemies, they're they have huge range. So you just need to be aware. Let's go ahead and take this guy. Are you not dying? Holy cow, he is not dying. He's getting a body. Let's go with uh, this rattlesnake. Why not? Blinding speed. I already have perfect strike. Turtle warhound. Rich flame spitter. Yeah, why not? Let's go with the spider, though. Since uh, I have new respect for the spider after being destroyed by one. How much time do I have on this? Not very much. So I'm going to jump over. Was there somebody there? No. Okay. I'm just seeing things. What I want to do is... I need to get my hardest hitting guy behind him. Because we've got... We're down to three turns now. Slam him. Then punch him. Alright. How much is my Warhound hitting for? 145. Or 147. Not bad. So let's actually try to use these. We'll we'll shield just in case he wants to spit something at us. Throw our spider there. I want to check this out real quick. Spit poison. Every six turns, spit poison at your target doing 513 poison damage over six turns. Not bad. Spit at him. All right, there we go. Yeah, I like that. Spit poison, sir. Did I get him? <laughs> no. <laughs> and I forgot to shield again. That's right. Don't go down there because there's an unstoppable murderous necromancer that you can't kill. Wanderer's Rest, we should probably wear these. Got 11 armor and 6 crit critical chance. We can give up the crit chance, but the armor, we have to have a reason. 
Ah, uh, 5% physical resistance. That's not going to overcome the 11 armor, I don't think, at this point. But 100% pinning immunity. We are taking this. But the reason why I wanted to take it was because it gives me telekinetic leap. Which is just another way. Uh, it's like, uh, if you are stupid and you continually do stupid things and find yourselves in situations where you're stuck, <laughs> telekinetic leap can help. Well, any kind of jump can help. Which is why we want this. I need to get out of the body first. And we dinged. Awesome. My auto rest and auto explore are on the same key, so... Like, uh, normally it's not an issue unless I'm trying to run away from something. Or I'm trying to keep it locked into one side. Alright. Got 4% of their values for this, but... Uh, in addition, talents gained from bodies are limited to level 7, so this is better than it seems. Now, all of the talents we can get from enemies will be able to go to 7 instead of just 6. Let's go ahead. Uh, this is not enough accuracy. It's only 7. It's just not enough. So, let's start uh, getting Writ Large up. Writ Large is amazing. Instantly removes Runic and Infusion Saturation. That's okay, but it would have to be a very long fight of you constantly using them for that to be a problem. But... For 4, 7, 8, 9, and then eventually 10 turns, your inscriptions cool down twice as fast. At level 5, your command over inscriptions is so good that you can use one more, but we'll never get to that point because you still need a category point for it. This used to just give you an extra, at level 5, it gave you an extra inscription slot, which basically meant ogres were just better than Kornax because that's really all Kornax got was an extra category point. But, yeah... So infusions twice as fast, that, that is amazing because cooldowns are already the limiting factor on pretty much, at least for my playstyle, the cooldowns are the limiting factor on my, uh, on my uh, <clears throat> inscriptions, sorry. But we are at Dreadfell level 2. This is where we're going to stop it for now. I might get on again later and play, but I've got to... Somebody called me in, so i got to go to work today. Uh, there's a guy who does real estate who hates dumping stuff because it's a freaking pain. It's a half an hour away to the dump site, the closest dump site. So I do it for him. He, he pays me decently, like not enough because obviously it's half an hour there, half an hour back. So it's... But... He gets it. He usually gives me other work and uh, he sends me work from other people, like that he works with for his real estate thing. So I basically I have to do it. So um, depending on when I get back from that and if I get the EverQuest video done soon, um, we'll, we'll go ahead and probably hop on here again because I really, this is getting interesting because I am almost to the point. Like you saw with that, uh, with that brawler. Uh, that brawler little drakeling that I had he just smashed through people well eventually that should be all of my bodies I won't even need to switch bodies at that point I'll have one super powered body that'll take me through most of the game and now the first time I won with possessor that was around level 35 we're level 26 now it should be like I don't remember it being this difficult and I know they haven't nerfed possessors but We'll just, we're, we're almost there. It's interesting having to crawl our, crawl and claw our way through this game, but we'll find out. All right, so I'll see you guys later. Take it easy, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this one. We'll see you guys later. Bye.